plays a lot of fucking games. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. He plays a night and day. He plays his life away. Sad old world gamer plays a lot of fucking games. <laughs> I'm away around this place. Uh, back through the farms again. Uh, well, maybe I'll find something exciting along the way. Who knows? Well, seeing as I'm going to be staying in Skyrim for a while, might as well try and get in good with the Jarl and the people around here. Try and get myself, I don't know, a small house. Something where I can at least keep some goods, store away some trinkets and some gold and rare jewels and stuff. Uh, but how hard is it gonna be and what am I gonna have to do? I didn't get that stone after all, that dragon stone. Perhaps I can barter it for a decent sum of money. But then again, maybe it's just a piece of junk. Hopefully, it belongs to somebody's family. And I could probably sell it off for a decent chunk of money. What do we have over here? Whoa. What the hell is this? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Well, I didn't even know what was going on, so I guess you could say I tried my best. Ha! Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. Glory only awaits those who triumph. And as companions, our glory must always be hard fought. Well, if you say so, who are the Companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Lots of money, huh? Can I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Why, thank you. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around Whiterun. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. I think you might find I can do better than a wench in armor that looks like a dress. Well, I must hand it to her. She's at least a brave wench. I wonder what this giant has. Eh, just some arrows and some gold. Nothing worth really worrying about. Eh, I couldn't just follow these guys back. Look strong. Come to your Vasker and be a companion. Sounds like something they may want to get into. Thanks for the suggestion. For a group of fighters, they sure seem friendly enough. This one seems to be the leader. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Yes, I must say, the weather seems to be holding quite fair. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Need I something? must be lucky. Having a beautiful woman giving me two pieces of advice in one day? Oh, got more to say. To you, Iskumar not really. Wouldn't have the patience to deal with all the rabble around here. I don't have time to be following those companion people. I have to make my way into this city. It looks like I finally found my way in. Or at least let's hope so. Now... Yeah, this seems to be the front entrance. Great. Finally, this took forever. Almost went all the way around, and then I decided to come back. I should have just kept going in full circle. I would have eventually made it here. Jeez, I, what were you thinking? Now, this is a real city. Walls, drawbridges, uh, ugh, old ladies that look like handbags. That's disgusting. Uh, what's this? Guards everywhere. Well, at least they have a nice secure town. Quite the view, too, as I can see. Huh. Not a bad place to go first, I guess. That Riverwood was too small of a place. I doubt they'd have any lodging for me other than the inn itself. And I'm fairly certain that Whiterun is in the middle of Skyrim, which is a pretty good vantage point to start from. Huh. Now, let's see about getting into Whiterun itself. I wonder if the doors are just open. Uh, doesn't Hold. look like it. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. 
Official business, eh? Well, let's just say I escaped from Helgen in the dragon attack. I'm sure the Jarl would love to hear about it. The people of Riverwood seem to think so. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. I understand you don't trust strangers. Note to self. Make sure you cut this guard's neck the first chance you get. Uh, now let's see. We'll what pay we got. whatever it takes, mm. but we must have What's more this? swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Seems this guy works I'd sooner for the bend Imperials. my Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Hmm, well, looks like this lady seems to have a lot of balls. Uh, now the quickest way to the castle would be where? I don't even see it anywhere. So let's get to higher ground, see what that provides us with. They say Helgen uh, got hit by a dragon. Uh, those guards seem to have heard about the dragons as well. Ah, and that seems to be the castle. Hmm, this should be all right. Let's see what the Jarl has to say. Give me your money. What's that? I don't have any money. You better give me five septums right now or I'm gonna bloody your nose. <laughs> Ten septums tomorrow, baby Battleborn. Or I'm gonna bloody your nose and your lip. No, please! I really don't have any money, Brave. I'll give you ten septums tomorrow. Just don't hit me. Well, at least that girl knows how to get what she wants. That's a lady to watch out for in the future. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thief's den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. Ha! <laughs> Lady problems. I have 99 problems and Stop a bitch ain't one. Wait, I... Hello there. You know, perhaps I could help. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. So what were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Can't say I blame her. Do you still need help finding it? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for it and let you know. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. Sure thing. Huh. Yeah, right. If I find a sword, especially an antique sword, it's gonna go with me and with my equipment. What the hell? Wow. Uh, seems like this man knows what he's talking about. A bit too religious for my liking, but at least he's praying for Talos and keeping it alive. Apparently the Imperials have been trying to knock Skyrim out from worshipping Talos and all. It's hard to see such a proud people being bullied by the people of the Imperials. I don't see any problem in worshipping Talos either way. It's nobody's business who I pray to. Well, it looks like I made it to the castle. And what a nice castle it is. I should be able to find lots of stuff to loot in here. Uh, I wonder if he has a magician working for him. What the hell is this? This is no time for rash action. Oh crap, this is what's the meaning of this interruption. It's a lady. Is not receiving visitors. Who's this then? That's nice and all bribing news about the dragon attack on Helgen. I'm starting to believe that this Jarl likes masculine women. And with that, I'm fairly certain that your Jarl would love to hear about it. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Well, that's more like it. Thank you. Well, at the very least, the Jarl's guards are all loyal. And judging by his position, he looks like he's fairly bored with this job of being Jarl. Let's see what he has to say. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Well, to be quite honest, that dragon attack was the only thing that kept the Imperials from chopping off my head. Really? 
you're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? At first the dragon came and attacked the executionary, knocking most of us unconscious. The next thing I knew, I was trying to run away from my life. Some of us managed to escape, but others weren't so fortunate, and, well, you know, the Imperials. Last thing I remember, it was heading this way. By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon lord, is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... Enough! I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people! Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Your brother is the Perhaps. You know Come, I let's go judgment. find Faringar, my court wizard. The He's been Just looking into a matter eyes. related to these dragons you and, and rumors you his of dragons. You're his steward. He'll listen to you. Leave me out of your intrigues, Hrongar. If you have something to say to the Jarl, say it with your own tongue. Well, it looks like either the Jarl is deaf or he just does not plainly care about the conversation those guys were having. Ain't nobody high and mighty in these halls, except in the Jarl. And don't you forget... Well, it sounds to me like she's a basket case. Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Oh. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. This dude has a weird voice. Okay then, where am I going? What is it exactly that you want me to find? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Well, it just so happens that I just came from Bleak Falls Burrow, so I actually have the Dragonstone here. Ah, the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes the Jarl foists on me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, how about a reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Well, I hope so, for all the trouble I went through to get that Dragonstone. Who the hell was that? I don't see anybody. That was really weird. Here's somebody running somewhere, though. Oh, wait. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Holy shit. You should come, too. Aw, oh, damn it. Dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Well, seeing as they're gonna leave, I might as well just take a few of these things and, uh, uh, you know, m make good use of them instead of letting them waste here doing nothing. <laughs> Ooh, and another soul stone. Good, good, good. Uh, nothing in that cupboard worth taking. You'd think a magician would have a whole lot more crap around. Uh, that's, yep, looks like White Run is in the middle of Skyrim. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of moving around. I wonder if I can maybe buy a horse or something. 
two coin purse, I'll take that. And let's see if there's any good books here, anything rare. It's uh, the one good thing about being a thief, at least you know what books are worth taking. Some of these are worth a fortune in gold, and well, most are worth nothing. They're not even worth the paper that they're written on. But maybe that's just my opinion. All I know is I know what to sell. And unfortunately, these silver items won't go for anything. Silverware doesn't go for anything at all. You'd think someone would say, hey, I can just melt these down and make some new stuff, but I guess not. Well, as of right now, this castle or keep or whatever the hell you want to call it seems fairly barren. I'm barely finding any gold pieces in the drawers and furniture here. This is pathetic. Maybe if I go upstairs or search around. I mean, hey, it was just a magician's little room. What do we have here? Uh, the kitchen. I don't really feel hungry right now. Uh, don't really want to go downstairs. It's probably dungeons or some other crap. Storage. Come on, let's see what's up here. Uh, doesn't seem like there's too many guards either. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Sure thing. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. Yes! Accept this gift from my personal armory. You should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Yeah, I'll be along in a moment. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. I'll see you at the watchtower as soon as the rest of the men have gathered. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't wait up. Well, that worked out quite well. I serve you. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Well, I just Perhaps want to know I who I should stay. talk to about getting a house. It's nice to know that it's only 5,000 gold. I look forward to owning property in Whiterun. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. I'm so glad I picked up that dragon stone. Now I have a nice magical helm that absorbs magic. And I also have the ability to go and buy property here in Whiterun. Which means now I can have a place to stash all my stuff. Oh, Loot City. It's gonna be nice. I wonder if there's any other bigger towns here in Skyrim. I would imagine this is not the capital or anything, so... Not only that, but bigger towns mean more people. More people mean more goods, more loot, more money. Can't go wrong. This is gonna be well worth my time. And if I just so happen to make, you know, a little too much money or find a little too much loot, I'm definitely gonna have to buy a bigger house. I just hope I'm able to do that. At the very least, I can have several houses throughout Skyrim. That would work out quite well. Uh, I guess I have to go check out that dragon. I'm not looking forward to this.